shoes and grab a pull of a bowl I'm not a pull a bowl of popcorn and join us in singing turn that thing up so you can sing along and uh yeah I don't know what else play guitar play banjo play violin fiddle whatever you want to play with well, it's good to see you all again and yes I apologize about the last minute time change but around around five o'clock five fifteen I was heading out of Colorado Springs after an all-day training at the academy academy that trains us uh, all staff that go into prisons here in Colorado. We have to take that training. Today was actually good for me. It taught me a lot I needed to know. So um, yeah, good to be here with you. We got a lot of good requests, don't we, hon? Woo! Wonder how your day went. <laughs> oh my. Hey, we're here to praise the Lord, lift him up. Let's lay our burdens down at the foot of the cross tonight and just have a good time of worship. And uh, here we are together. Love it. We're going to start. Go ahead, honey. We've got the first song tonight. Okay. Diane Lou Callan requested Joy Unspeakable. Ooh, that's a good old hymn there. Joy Unspeakable and Full of Glory. Oh, man, I can almost do that by memory, but I better not try. <laughs> Let me see. What's a good key for that? Let's go to the key of uh, G. So I have found his grace in his own. I gotta tell you that little joke that goes with that song and the story, not joke, the story that goes with that song. The old boy, the uh, farmer boy, he was having some tough times with his livestock and he was starting a good breeding program and and uh, and uh, his his favorite cow had a, was having a calf and he's like, Lord, if you give us the first calf from this heifer is gonna is gonna be sold and the money given to missions. And so he um, made that commitment to the Lord and that calf came out a beautiful, nice heifer. And boy, it just was, oh, do I have to sell this? I need to keep this. And one day he's walking down the road past revival meetings going on 
over in the over in a neighboring field and he heard this song it is joy unspeakable but he understood the words oh the calf has never yet been sold <laughs> so he went back and sold the calf and, and kept his commitment <laughs> that's my story and i'm sticking to it <laughs> hey good to see you all on deck hello michael good evening from rhode island huh Hi, Kathy. Good to see you We're on deck here. Benny Matthews, Evelyn Dallow, and all my, we're all kinds of friends from all over the place. When are we going to all get together somewhere, huh? <laughs> What's next, hon? Okay, Lily pa Patterson requested, I'm so happy, and here's the reason. Whoa, why. I'm so happy. You got worse that way? How's it go? I'm so happy, here's the reason why. I probably don't have the words right. But let's do it banjo style. I'm so happy. Here's the reason why. Jesus took my burdens all away. Jesus took my burdens all away. Hey, California's on deck. Hello, Ray Phillips and Sharon. Good to see you all here. Where are we going next, hon? <clears throat> what you doing looking at that thing? Uh, are you checking out remarks? Well, there's... Or is there some dark color there? No, there's something going on. Something going on? All right. I was going to try to... Stop yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, Jeannie... Genie. I can't read my own writing. Eggblast. 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 Is that an S or? <laughs> anyway, who else? Oh, oh, that's for the next one. That's and good. Susan Bontrager requested Haven of Rest. Haven of Rest. Oh. I, thought, um, I got an email today that uh, Esther Yoder passed away. Remember Esther Yoder from Grantsville? Hmm. Um, really? her sister told me and how much she enjoyed the sing along and she she hosted us in in Grantsville that one year remember Esther Yoder from Grantsville she hosted us at her house or what no she hosted us at the church there they did such a good job which with... church was it oh oh okay at the uh, at um boy why can't I think of it either Oakdale 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 man I Esther Yoder hosted. Yeah, she did a trip. She passed away. Oh, wow. She's up in heaven rejoicing. Now she knows what good singing really is. Right? I think maybe we should dedicate this song to her, too. Okay. We'll dedicate this song in memory of Esther Yoder, in honor of Esther Yoder. She's finally got home to her haven of rest, right? We're going to do this in the key of G. My soul said
Oh, Mr. Beitzel said that? Yeah. Okay, wow, on the Beitzel side. Yeah, let's pray for her family. I wonder if she was uh, up there in years or not necessarily. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But yeah, family, I'm sure we'll miss her. It's never easy to say goodbye. You know that, guys? It <laughs> doesn't matter what age the person is that's gone home, but it's just never easy to, to part on this earth. But it's a lot easier knowing that we will meet in heaven. Amen? Amen. <clears throat> Ewan's here, and it's 2 a.m. in Scotland. Whoa! <laughs> you better get some sleep, Rob! <laughs> hey, Lois Worsham requested Rock of Ages. Rock of Ages. Oh, yeah. You know what the Rock of Ages is, don't you? It's Jesus Christ, but we used to joke about it at the Rock of Ages retirement village where we lived. It's like when you're rocking back and forth to get up, that's the Rock of Ages. <laughs> Not really. All right. Let me, let's do this one in the key of A. Rock of Ages, clap for me, let me hide myself in thee, let the water and the flood from the rim inside which flowed be of sin the double cure, save me from its guilt. tonight i tell you you know it never ceases to amaze me when i travel places that i haven't traveled before or or recently but all the cars out on the road oh my lands isn't that something going up 95 right here in colorado where right now they're doing a major construction on that route 115 which may go until the lord comes back <laughs> but i'm just amazed at all the cars heading out of colorado springs where are we going next hon Hey, Glenn Wash Band, a cathedral's favorite of mine. I can still remember old Glenn Payne and George Allen singing this one. Glenn Wash Band in the key of C. We're a band of Christian soldiers fighting Satan every day. We're standing up for Jesus while we're kneeling down to pray. If this
tonight. If you guys would be here in the living room, you'd see something that's kind of amusing. When I play my tambourine down here on the tam tambourine, tambourine, down here on the floor, it wants to get away from me, so I have to keep stretching. <laughs> and that's why I mess it with my rhythm. So sometimes I throw something in front of it to keep it in place. Let's see if these pillows help a little bit anyway. There you go. Ah, yeah. Now it won't run away from me, hopefully. Or maybe some of you wish it would run away from me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where are we going next, guys? Okay, oh, sweetheart. Janet Twig requested I saw the light. Woo, we got some lively ones tonight. I love it. I saw the light. In the key of G. Oh, man, this sheet, this sheet here tells me that Hank Williams used to sing his song, Hank Williams Singer. Should I put some, should I put some country sound? I saw the light. No. <laughs> I guess I won't. I guess I won't. What a beautiful testimony. I hope you saw the light. I hope you guys saw the light as well. I wondered so weightless like they with see I would let my dear Savior in and Jesus came like a stranger in the night Praise sing that one or not we ought to have you here to sing out for us let's see how's it go my eyes are seeing the glory uh, it's written in b flat so let's try it in the key of a guys my eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the lord he is trampled out the vintage where the grapes of wrath were stored he has loosed the faithful life of the tournament swift sword Fun song to sing. You know, um, there's a, some of you guys that know about music, there's a new song out 
that, that and I wish I can't remember the title. Maybe you can help me remember it. Um, all I have to sing is an hallelujah. Remember that one, Ruth? What's the title of that? Oh, man, I can't remember what that is. Oh, a little Fido's out here. Hey, Fido, come over here. Windsor. Come here, boy. Come on. <laughs> oh, he's down there pretending he's hungry now. <laughs> uh, yeah, who'd ever thought we'd have the puppy in the house? This lady here, growing up, she'd say, no pets in the house. Pets stay outside. Now that she's gotten older and softer, now we're letting them in. <laughs> it's actually Chris Dog, our son Chris, who moved here from Pennsylvania. And boy, it's such a delight to have our children around us now. My lands, we never thought we'd see that, did we? We had four children, five children, but in four different time zones. And uh, now we're down to all of them but one in the same time. No, no. We still have two more. Yeah, we still have two in different time zones, but one's the... Uh, West Coast and one's the Texas, Central. so they're a lot closer. Central Texas, so yeah, Central Time. I mean, yeah. Anyway, that was from the for what it's worth department. We have I have really enjoyed family. I'll tell you what. I don't know. Uh, God's been so good to me. Um, I don't deserve the cool kids and the beautiful wife that I've got, um, or the committed kids. That they they see through their dad's imperfection. Thank God, and see a righteous, holy father who loves them as. As, um, as he does, we can't wrap our minds around. And I know uh, many of us, including myself, grew up with father relationships, father-son, father-daughter relationships that were somewhat strained, perhaps. Uh, a lot of adjusting, a lot of um, learning. And uh, in the middle of all of that, you know, when we look at God, our Father, there's just such a faithfulness there, there's such a perfection there that we can learn so much from him as dads. And how to be a good father. I'm trying to do that still. 65. Imagine that. There's pup. What's up, puppy? You're not popcorn, are you? Rawr! Rawr! <laughs> I call him Fido, but uh, his real name is Windsor. <laughs> Where are we going, hon? Okay. Let me see here. Doris Stevens. Danny Humphrey. Stevenson. Nathan Glick and Fanny Humphreys wow. requested how beautiful heaven must beautiful. be. Beautiful. I think we're going to take that all the way down to the key of D so that I can play along with my harmonic on that one. Let's see how that works. Yeah. Hey. 
Amen. What a beautiful place. Looking forward to it. I like that fair haven of rest for the weary. Amen. <laughs> oh, we're getting a bunch of good requests. Sarah Slavel, I can't wait till we can do that next week. Ancient words. If I remember how it goes anyway. That's right, Fanny. It was Anna's favorite right too. Wow. I uh, love it. All right, where are we going next? Okay, yeah, this next one, I'm not sure we can do it or not. Eileen Miller requested. Eileen. Is great, good, and merciful. Eileen, you like to stretch us a little bit there, don't you? <laughs> God is great. So so you have the alto line, right? And I have the soprano line. Oh, it's written in the key of C, but I bet that's high. Well, maybe not. It goes up there a little ways. Can you handle it? We're going to try it. This might be, know, it might be a train wreck. Might be our infamous train wreck. <laughs> God is great. God is good. God is merciful unto all who will call. sound real good if we get it right huh <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta get some of them for some reason yeah well i got it this is where the soprano comes in again i gotta get some of them chords worked out on that one too yeah that's a beautiful song uh, i remember the peckway youth group when i was a kid i wasn't even in the youth group yet well i was just starting to be i think and i remember going to sing and I, I think that's where somewhere anyway in a choir um my mind goes back why they sang that and it's just a beautiful you get four-part harmony in there Woo, doggy hard to beat where are we going next, son? Okay, Alvin Yoder requested the music of heaven. Alvin Yoder. Is it the Alvin Yoder from yep. Florida? Right. Alvin Yoder would be Trevor's, Trevor's birth. parental or birth grandfather, right? Kay's dad and Kay's mother just passed away not too long ago. So this is a very good song for you there, Alvin. The music of heaven while your dear wife is up there and you're missing her. Enjoying the music of heaven. You're missing her, I'm sure, and someday, before too long, you'll join her as well. Music of heaven. Let's do this one in D, I think. Soon, the music of heaven. Oh, 
Pun intended, it tunes, right? <laughs> ah, the beauty of that. <clears throat> Looking forward to that someday, people. But until then, we'll keep singing on this earth. Amen. Okay, Michael Swanson and Margaret Pitts requested Old Rugged Cross. Well, I wonder if any of you can think of a blessing right now in your life of how God has blessed you this week. Something to praise the Lord for. Tonight, even while we started praying, I felt convicted in my heart. You know, I always say, God, be with us. Bring people in the living room that you want here. Keep them out that you don't want. And that kind of stuff. I ask for stuff. Help us to remember well and things like that. And I just felt in my heart, it's time to stop always asking and thanking too. Now, the Father loves it when we come to him with our needs. Don't get me wrong. But be a person that shows gratitude. Have you ever met a person who just seems like grouch, grouch, everything's wrong, wrong, wrong. And, and, uh, Versus a person who uh, recognizes the goodness of God and uh, praises him and lifts him up. I'll tell you what, there's a big yeah. difference. Where are you going, Trevor? Take the dog out. Take the dog out. Who took the dog out? Where are we going next, hon? Okay. Did you say it already? Michael I'm sorry. Swanson and Margaret Pitts. Oh, oh Michael Swanson and Margaret. This song is for you, Old Rugged Cross. every time not every time a lot of times when I sing that song I think of what Jesus said 
He said, unless you take up your cross and follow me, you cannot be my disciple. What's it mean to you to take up your cross? Cross is a symbol of death, so I guess it would, for me, it means death to myself, to my own selfish desires, laying them down and picking up the cross of what God has given to me. Um, and I think about, you know, usually cross, instrument of death, but thinking of carrying that, just uh, takes me to what we call communion, where we celebrate or honor the, the uh, death of Jesus, sharing his, shedding his blood on the cross and his resurrection for our sins. Let's always, let's keep doing that. Let's keep remembering, whether it's through a, a literal act of communion or worship communion in our hearts, remembering the beautiful, or the sacrifice, the beauty of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ as we carry our cross. Where are we going next, hon? Hey, Scott Beatty requested the old uh, When the Roll is Called Up. When the Roll is Called Up. Yonder, that sounds like a uh, harmonica song to me. Hey, we got some oldies here. When the Roll is Called Up, Yonder. My, my uh, little trampoline got underneath the pillow now. It's totally muffled on but <laughs> I give up on that tonight. <laughs> when the rules called up, yeah, are you going to be there? Amen. What a beautiful thing to think about, sing about. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Susie Schrock requested victory in Jesus. All right, Susie, one of my favorite ones, I think. In the key of G, I heard an old, old story how the Savior came.
Have you experienced some victory in your life recently? <laughs> wow. <clears throat> and I'll tell you what, I know there's a lot of things. You know, we David does it so well in the Psalms when he writes some of the laments. But he also does a lot of rejoicing and a lot of saying, come let us sing. That's one of the things that we're trying to take into the prison with us is um, let's help people to sing. Sing. Open your mouth and sing. When you're in church and there's a beautiful praise and worship song up front, beautiful band playing, join in singing. When there's just acapella, whatever it is, don't just listen. I mean, that's good too. You can worship without saying a word. But man, when you sing along, it's just good. It's just good. Where are we going, huh? <clears throat> Okay, somebody had a 42nd anniversary. Ooh, who was it? And requested the Bluebird song, and I forgot to write their name down. Oh, my. Who are you? Somebody had a, how much? 42nd. 42nd. For, that's 42, in case you mean one. 42. Wow. Hey, we're going to do the Bluebird song for them. I think we better put a little bit of harmonic in there in that break in between the verses there. Now, let me see. This song, I tend to sing it too fast, don't I? In the key of D. Yes, no. I met a girl out in the hills who gave my lonely heart a thrill. Her beauty seemed just like a breath of spring. See, not you, honey. And when I looked into her eyes, I thought of bluish summer skies. And when I held her hand in mine, I heard the blue birds sing. They sang of a and green. One day, if you love her, will she matter? requested each for the other and it's their 55th anniversary all right congratulations fun stocks 55th on when the 28th wow Thursday. i guess Thursday. Yeah. well i'll tell you if you've been married for 55 years you know each other pretty well right you can almost finish each other's sentences right and you know that you were born each for the other right Let's see, we're gonna do this in the key of, I'd like to do an A, I think. It's a little low, the other key. Yeah. Let's do it in the key of A. Darling, the day has come that we've been dreaming of. When at the altar white will say our vows of love. Each for 
Congratulations to the Fonstocks. Is that how to say that? Fonstock? Is that right? I think so. Fonstock? Yeah. Fonstock, yeah. Okay, Scott Beatty requested the rose. Hey, Scott. How do you know this is one of my favorite love songs? I remember my sister Yomi singing this at some wedding. Probably one of her kids. I'm not sure. Which one was it? You remember? She did such a good job. So, Yomi, I'm thinking of you. <laughs> the rose. Let me see. I think I'll put the uh, capo on and we'll do this in the key of D right from the start. And then maybe go up to E on the last verse. Some say love.
apologize. I should have had Ruth sing them first two verses and because it was low enough and I could have left it down in C. You want to try it again? Sorry about that. You remind me next time. I'll I could I would much rather put the tenor on there and let you sing the melody on that one. Okay, Betty Eller and Heather Green requested sitting at the feet of Jesus. I don't know why, but this song just grabs me every time I, I, I think about it. Uh, what's it going to be like when we stand before Jesus at the judgment throne or and or the Father and Jesus is there and we're worshiping and praising him together? Um, I disagree with the one fellow who, uh, anyway, I won't get in. Uh, but he thinks that might be boring because all things are going to be made new and worshiping him in the beauty and the sanctity of holiness, um, whether we're doing it where, wherever it is, whatever it's going to be like, it's going to be far grander uh, than what we can imagine. But even here, going to the Lord in prayer, getting time alone. Um, I wish I would have done started doing this sooner. But where you just take time, just in the morning or sometime, just go outside, get alone, and just sit at the feet of Jesus. Say, Jesus, what do you want me to hear from you today? Um, what a blessing we have to sit at the feet of Jesus. In the key of G, I think. Sitting at the feet of Jesus. Soprano, that was probably a little too high for you to sing along. I'm not sure, was it? Uh, but anyway, um, probably should put that one in like the key of D or something and was sing it a little lower. Yeah. yeah. I noticed that on the paper it said put the capo on the fourth fret, which would probably have me moving down an octave. So that's probably what they did with that. Where are we going next, huh? Okay, Sally Hostetler requested one day at a time. Hey, one day at a time. <laughs> This song, anyway.
about this song at the very beginning. It wasn't that song. I love this song. I love to sing it. I was just thinking about the response we got to it when we were singing in, uh, in Restricted Housing the other uh, a couple weeks ago, and one of the guys didn't appreciate it too much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we um, did something that we'd never tried before, and I'm still not sure what to make of it, but we asked if we could go into restrictive housing, which is a place where they, they might call it the hole or some place where guys go when they did something they shouldn't have done or, yeah, or um, tried to do something they should have done. And they're in there for a number of days to get them away. And, and um, so, yeah, there's a lot of men there that are pretty desperate. And they really appreciate when we come through and pray for them. But there's also some that are just plain down angry. Angry at the world. Angry at everything. And um, so there, it's there where it seems like sometimes I feel more the presence of uh, evil. Or the presence of people that are men that are just uh, overcome, it seems like. But still, even there... We were able to go into it. So we went in. We went in and just sang, and the, they're all in their cells. And so we, we just sang, and it echoed through that through that prison. And um, there was a lot of praise the Lord and, and applauding, too, when we sang. I think we sang what, Old Rugged Cross and One Day at a Time, and I forget what the other one was. But anyway, pray for us, guys. We really appreciate your prayers. Um, we go into some places that are just not very comfortable, and uh, yet at the same time, the church is alive and growing in there. We're planning on having baptism in there um, this Friday. Um, oh, there's a, yes. The, oh, no, 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 not this Friday. Communion. I'm sorry. Communion this Friday. And um, that, too, is a challenge to somehow know how to present that in such a way that it's, it's done in a worthy manner and also lifts up the Lord and uh, remembers his death and resurrection. Boy, how we need that. All right. Let's go. Where are we going next, hon? Hey, Dora Tamir, request it soon, very soon. Hey, I like this. And an old Andrew Croft song. And see, he sang that. Uh, oh, he sang a couple of really. Andre. Andre. Andre Crouch. Here we go. I remember David Herster uh, wrote an wrote a, uh, arrangement for this for our youth group back when we were in the youth group. This song's pretty old. <laughs> All right, in the key of G. Coming so soon and very soon. We are going to see the king soon and very soon. We are going to see the king soon and very soon. soon, and very soon. We are going to see the king. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to see the king. No more crying there. We are going to someday huh <laughs> that's what we're singing about where are we going next huh okay man Donald Burke Holder requested City of Light time flies when you're having fun your coffee getting cold yet <laughs> your popcorn all <laughs> yeah Don Burke Holder right Donald Burke, Burke Holder yeah now is that the Donald in Florida I think so. or he's not in Florida now but he's in Virginia now right he actually is in Florida, oh is he right? Donald you can do it in Florida <laughs> If you are, of course. Hey, City of Light. 
I, I remember the uh, Knox Brothers singing this, and I thought they did such a good job on this. And let me see, it's written in the key of F. So let's do it in the key of, I don't know, let's try D. There's a city of light neath the stars, we are told. Thank you so much for that. We we met a, a gentleman the other day. We even asked him if we could share part of his testimony. We won't give you his name. Did we the last time, maybe? Did we share about him last time? Uh, uh, I don't think so. I'll tell you, we heard unbelievable story. Our hearts were crying with him as he shared how as a young boy born in another foreign country, and um, there he was he, he was sold for sex uh, uh, as his by his mother, who was shooting up in the room with the drugs that they gave her so that they could abuse uh, use their, their her son right in the same room while, while it was happening. He remembers seeing his mother there shooting up with drugs while he was being abused sexually. And just horrible, horrible, horrible his stuff. His daddy committed suicide right in front of them. Oh, man. Just yeah, just such death and so darkness. Sad. Oh, my. And uh, yeah, then married uh, in a pre, what was it, a pre-planned marriage or whatever they call it. And uh, she was a Satanist. And uh, anyway, you just, you can't make that stuff up. No child should ever even think of having to live through what they lived through. But you know what? Here's what I wanted to get to. This gentleman was sitting there in our office and the glory of the Lord was shining from his face <laughs> because he met Jesus and Jesus brought so much healing to him. Yeah, sorry about getting all emotional, but <laughs> there's even to the point of yeah, he's go ahead. been able to forgive his mama. Yeah, he even reconnected with his mother after years and years of not being connected, and his loving her forgave her. He said freely forgave her, and oh, the healing that has happened. And boy, I tell you, when you hear stories like that, you're like, and I get upset about you know the little things we get upset about, but Jesus brought spoke into that man's life, and I. I just so pray that he can live in victory, that he can uh, keep that joy of the Lord that's on his face. We've asked him to bring a message uh, one of these Fridays when we have service there, so I'm looking forward to hearing what he has to share then, share his testimony, I should say. Anyway, back to the songs again. I got all sidetracked and all weepy about that. But isn't God good? He can take the ashes, the horrible ashes of our lives, of your life, your horrible choices, choices that other people made against you, and with forgiveness and his healing touch, he comes in and makes something beautiful. Reminds me of that song, Gaither wrote, something beautiful, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, where are we going next, time? Okay. I uh, hear you, Fanny. That's awesome. Yeah. Teresa Lovell requested, guide me, O thou great Jehovah. Oh, okay. I, I didn't realize you worked in corrections uh, for many years, Fanny. That's amazing. Yeah, you know what, what I'm talking about when we talk about the darkness in there. Okay, guide me, O oh, thou great Jehovah. Let me see. Do, can I do this on the guitar? There's also a church in there. Yeah, there's a live church in there, too. Yeah. 
redeemed men of God <laughs> who are serving God faithfully. And they, they, they tell each other this, and it's true. If you can't do it in here, you're not going to be able to do it out there. You know, some of them keep thinking, well, if I get out, if I get out, they get what they call jailhouse religion, where they say, if I get it in here, if I get out, everything will be all right. And then they get out, and the challenges are in some ways are even greater. And there's some of them that really fear almost getting out because they realize that, that some of that's going to happen. So, yeah, God's doing a work on the inside and the outside, right? Guide me, oh, thou great Jehovah, praises I will ever sing to thee. Praise the Lord. Hey, thank you all for those of you who share, who share this sing-along. I am amazed at the many different contacts that are keep popping up around the world. God's using it for his glory. Amen. And for your prayers, thank you so much for your prayer warders. You get on there and pray for the different prayer requests. It's amazing to see that as well. Keep praying for our daughter and son-in-law, our family, uh, our sons, uh, Justin and LaDonna. Um, selling their home in Oregon or put it on the market and it's a beautiful house but it's up a steep lane a lot of people get a little scared of the lane which after you've driven it three or four times uh, is fun but anyway so uh, we, we love to see that uh, house be sold so they can uh, do what the Lord they're feeling in their heart the Lord wants them to do there where are we going next time? okay Susan Hubbard requested Little David Not mine, said me.
has the record of greetings he does. He said the battle's not mine. I give it to you, Lord, it's done. Help me out now. The battle's not mine. He said a little baby, Lord, it's done. I'm in your favor. I gave it all to you. I knew not what to do. And I'm so glad you let me see. Get that tonight. I think we're going to wrap up here and um, get off the air. And got a phone call coming in from Shirley Hamilton. I wonder what she wants. All right, I'll be glad to talk to her again. Where are we going? We're going to wrap up with this one, huh? Right? Okay. Yep. Carol Larson requested the Lord's Prayer. Oh yes, the Lord's Prayer. Pray with me together. Oh my. Disciples said, "How should we pray, Lord? Teach us to pray." And He gave him this epic prayer, this all-compassing prayer. I love it. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will. Thank you for hearing us tonight. Thank you for loving on us tonight with your word. Thank you for putting music in our hearts. Father God, we pray for those who are struggling right now with pain physically, emotionally, or spiritually. Father God, you the great healer. Holy Spirit, come and fill us. Anoint us with your presence, Father. Remove anything from our lives that keeps us from enjoying a relationship with you according to your will, Father. We pray you forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. And as the song says, it's your kingdom, it's your power, it's your glory that we invite into our lives. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Talk to you later. Yeah, happy birthday, Chris. Happy birthday to who? Christopher. Oh, yeah, our son Chris' birthday. Is that today? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, our son Chris is having his birthday. It's a big one, too. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Happy birthday, Chris. Love you, man. Hey, can you do it?